okay guys um, okay here's my honest review about the uh, Hinky and CB 250 which is a Chinese four-stroke two wealth uh, motorcycle and um, it's actually pretty awesome this little bike here and uh, now um, I got this bike like um, to test ride it's the bike from my son and today was the first ride Im impression was really good and um, it pulled me up everything and it did uh, cleared every obstacle I threw at it um, my background is mostly riding uh, with Honda XR 250s or XR 400 uh, XR 600 I'm a XR guy but honestly this was wasn't disappointing at all here to ride this bike to try it out and uh, what I didn't like about this bike is um, first of all the carburetor it's a little bit like uh, hard to start in the morning when you want to get going it's like uh, sometimes I almost can't start it so I have to push start it uh, once it's running it's running awesome and uh, but the idle is going up and down but this could be like a, a jetting thing or maybe it just needs a different carburetor so I mean at this price um, it's like there's no, I think there's no competition here. And um, the rear shock, um, I changed the rear shock to a white power rear shock and uh, from, a, from a KTM. So this was an improvement. And the front is SCZ. Uh, sorry, SZC Forks, uh, also a Chinese brand. It's icing from Hangjian as well. So, um, what I what I like about this bike, it's it's light. It feels very very light. Um, if it's true what they say, then uh, it's supposed to be 120 kilo. It feels actually lighter than that when riding the bike and um, yeah the only downside that my my bike has here that i've been using today there's a lot of vibration and uh, uh, i had to get used to it but that could be uh, another problem maybe i haven't found out what it's exactly but other than that i'm super happy with this bike awesome i can recommend it for this price definitely go get it and i know in the us they sold those bikes uh, under the name GPX um, and uh, there's like plenty of different um, companies or brands, let, uh, yeah, brands that uh, actually sell exactly the same engine and the same frame and they all give it a different name so it can be quite confusing sometimes i think one one of the brands that comes to mind is q's and uh i think lextra and uh yeah what else i don't know yeah check it out on the internet but uh super awesome machine for the money and uh can complain cheers guys
brakes brakes are pretty awesome I'm comparing this to my old XR250 uh, but those brakes are definitely better the torque of this bike uh, is really good can't complain about that suspension for me I'm used to the very very soft XR250 suspension so feels a little harsh but actually when riding it's pretty pretty okay and it doesn't doesn't wear you out that much Wow, so this Chinese monster is putting up a 140 kilo guy at a very steep hill. me now this is pretty amazing oh so this Heng Jian 250 212 engine was able to pull me up this uh, steep hill climb here uh, it's a notorious hill climb here in Mejo northern Thailand so uh, it's not super steep, but uh, uh, a lot of people struggle getting up here. And you see, 140 kilo and getting up like nothing. I mean, this is amazing. Um, I have much more trouble with my XR250 getting up here. And um, even with the big bore kit installed. So I had about 270 cc. But, uh, I mean, this is amazing, really.
Yeah, a very different riding experience here with a Heng Jian. I mean, it's funny, you know, I, I actually like it. It's different behavior from what I'm used. And, uh, but it's not bad. That's, uh, maybe it's a bonus. All right, take a short break. guys uh, trying out the, the hot stuff here so uh, very very technical rocks so uh, on this kind of stuff I find the suspension a little bit too too hard I'm already everything on soft rebound full soft and compression full soft rare in the back and uh, yeah, as I said, like the bike really feels good over the, the quick stuff, the fast stuff uh, with rocks and so on. But uh, this technical terrain, uh, the fork doesn't quite respond to the, to the rocks. When, when I hit a rock, the edge of a rock, uh, the forks don't uh, work to my advantage so uh, it's a little bit of a concern because it's wearing you out much quicker than I thought. Other than that uh, it's pretty awesome what this bike does. 